Hey everyone, what I would like to do in this video is show you how you can check memory usage in Android. Memory is short for random access memory. So you'll see a lot of people, including myself, use the term RAM instead of memory. Now the more memory you've got, the more RAM you've got, the more applications you can have running in the background. The more applications you can have running at the same time. And if you don't have enough memory, well, you'll need to go in and start closing applications. Now this is something you might have to do if you're using YouTube or playing games and things like that. Certain applications aren't optimized as well and certain applications just need more memory to run efficiently. So being able to see how much RAM that you're using will help you understand how much RAM, how much memory you need in a phone to operate your phone correctly. At the lower end, phones in the Android world at the moment tend to have two, three or four gigabytes of RAM. This has six gigabytes, which was fine last year, but you've seen a lot of the flagships this year in the Android world going up to eight or even 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is overkill. So in the settings area in a lot of Android phones, you will see an option for memory. Now, I don't have that in this phone, at least I can't seem to find it, but in your phone, you might have a different Android phone, just check the main settings area. It might be under apps or it might simply be under storage and memory or something like that. And you can check your memory usage. But if you don't have that, I don't seem to have it in this phone, don't worry. Just search for something like memory Android, RAM Android or something to that effect. Now I'm going to show you two examples of apps that you can use. I'm not saying those are the best out there. They're simply the ones that I downloaded myself and they seem okay. The first one is called Simple System Monitor and it's got RAM there, but you can also check CPU and a few other things as well. And yeah, you can see battery temperature. It's quite a useful little app actually. So you can see here, the total usage is 5.49 gigabytes. It's got six gigabytes of RAM. And the total used is 3.46. So that's helping me see that, yes, I can buy a phone with eight or 12, but well, looking at it, it doesn't look like I actually need that. I'm only using about 3.41 gigabytes of RAM. Now, of course, that will go up and down. If I'm using YouTube and then playing lots of games, that memory usage should increase. Um, you know, I could open that up, I can open that up, and you know, I could open more applications and the memory usage, well, even there, like 3.41 up to 3.48. The applications I use there don't actually use a lot of memory, you can see that, but if I had to open a really big game, it could shoot up as much as half a gig or even one gigabyte of memory. The other one I want to show you is RAM Booster. Now this one not only allows you to check your memory, but it also allows you to optimize it. So you can see here overall storage, it's telling me about my storage. Uh, this is a 128 gigabyte. And it's also got overall RAM usage. So it's got total RAM size 5.49, used RAM size 3.69. So, you know, I'm getting similar figures to the other application and it's shown that I'm using 67%. But what I can do in this app is click on that and it will show me all the apps here and it will close them down. So just click on that. And what it's going to do now is reduce the amount of memory that's being used. So you can see there I'm down to 2.87 gigabytes of RAM, which is good. You know, I'm not using as much RAM now. Now, I don't think I'm going to like notice anything being snappier now, but if it went from like say 95% or something like that down to 75, I probably would have noticed a difference. But it is important to know that when you start opening your applications again after closing them, that memory usage will creep back up. So I hope you found this useful. As I said, I would check the settings area of your Android phone first to check for memory. I'd also um, recommend checking out the Play Store. There's a lot of apps here that you can use. You know, none of these apps are really amazing. They're just kind of simple tools, but what they're going to help you do is paint a picture as to how much memory you are using. So when you actually go out there and you're looking at a phone, you can say, well, I can't buy a phone with four gigabytes of memory because I use five gigabits all the time. So you'll know to go for one that's got six. And if you play a lot of games, you might even go towards eight or 12. It really is up to you. But I hope you found this video useful and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.